Hello, good evening. I want to come and, and share a Thanksgiving message to you. During this Thanksgiving day, please, whatever you do, don't allow yourself to get caught up into the glamour, the glit, the celebration of it all without singing joyfully unto the Lord. Psalm 95 says, Oh, come. The psalmist is excited. He's thrilled. He's excited about instructing us for coming before the Lord with singing and thanksgiving. Psalm 95 says, Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Now, the psalmist is telling us emphatically that we have to get to a point in our lives where thanksgiving is number one every day, where thanksgiving is a time of rejoicing and celebrating God, where thanksgiving is a time of lifting the Lord before a dying world. And yes, in the midst of all the troubles that we have, there's a dying world that's real, that's going to hell. But we, the church, must come before the Lord with singing, with thanksgiving. If you're having a tough time during this year, just remember, it's not about all the eating. It's not even about all the family. These things are good. But what you must do is honor the Lord. And you must honor him regardless of your circumstances. The psalmist says, Oh, come let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful, a very loud noise to the rock of our salvation. The psalmist realizes that as we are being delivered from stuff, from our enemies, from sin, from ourselves, the psalmist realized there was God that did it. And because God has done it, we need to honor him. He gets excited and he says, oh, come. He says that we need to come and sing unto the Lord and make a joyful noise unto him. For he is the one who delivers us. The word salvation is deliverance, whether it's delivering us from sin, whether it's delivering us from the perils of this world, whether it's delivering us from danger. God is the one who delivers us. Verse 2 of Psalm 95 says, let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. We ought to continue to be in the presence of God. There's no particular situation that's better than being in God's presence. We must stay in his presence. We must stay in his presence among each other. Iron sharpens iron. That's why we have to continue in church. We have to assemble ourselves together. We have to get along with God to be empowered by God. And then we come together to encourage each other. Church is important, even in these times that we live in. Gathering with the saints, is so important. He says, come let us get in the presence of God. Let us come before his presence. And when we come, be thankful. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. This word psalms means songs. S-O-N-G-S. We got to make a joyful noise with him with singing. Doesn't matter if you could really sing according to uh, the musical notes, whether you sing soprano, bass, tenor, whether you sing alto, just to, just remember this. You got to sing unto the almighty, the almighty God. Verse 2 continues and says, let us make a joyful noise unto him in songs. We need to give it all to the Lord. And when we give it to him, we ought to make a loud noise. We ought to celebrate we ought to give it to him as he is deserving. Verse 3 says, For the Lord is a great God. He gives us the reason. We ought to celebrate him, make a joyful noise unto him. Because the Lord our God is a great God. There's no God like him. He goes on to say, He is the king above all gods. There's no one who compares to the God we serve. He is the king above all of the gods. If you really want to honor God, if you really want to be thankful, choose the right God. The psalmist says, our Lord, and the Lord is in 
all caps, it is except the existing God. The God who did not become someone that was made. He was already here and always will be here. He is self-existent. He has the title of the official Jewish name, Lord. He is Jehovah God. Many times Jehovah's Witnesses try to tout the fact that they are Jehovah's Witnesses. And I say to them, I am Jehovah's Witness also. And because he is the Lord God Jehovah, I honor him, I brag on him, I tell others about him. Don't let this season pass you up where you can remind others of who God is. The Bible says in Psalm 95 that he is a great God. He is the king above all other gods. This great big God, capital G-O-D, is a king above all other gods. So what king means that he brings in royalty. Yes, we ought to raise our hand. We ought to bow down before this great magnificent God.